Hi everybody, um, today I'm 36 weeks and 5 days. Excuse me, Adri. Ah! And here's this big old huge gigantic belly. Ooh. Hope you can see it's kind of dark. Oh gosh. Looks swollen, huh? Like a whole shot. Right. Hi, everybody. Hi. So I have my special guest today. So she's gonna help me ah! out. Shh, don't scream. So today I'm 36 weeks and six days. Tomorrow I'll be 37 weeks. So this is a kind of a late video that I usually do. But I'm gonna talk about my 36 weeks. Yes, you. Um. So this week I've been like really, really tired, sluggish, slow, all of that. Um, I haven't wanted to do anything this week. You going side to side, okay? I haven't wanted to do anything this week. I haven't wanted to do like I don't want to do anything this week. Nothing, grocery shopping, nothing. Um, I'm so tired. Also, my brain has like officially like shut down. I can't, I can't focus on anything. I can't concentrate on anything. I'm just thinking like I just want to sit here and just stare at the wall and I'll be happy. Uh, yeah, so it's really tough because I can't do that. I have to take care of Adri and her things because my husband is at work and we don't have family to help. So. I have to continue to do my regular routine, and I'm not feeling like it. I'm just, like, done. Um, I've been having lots of contractions. Lots of contractions. Some are painful, and some are just tightness. It's just uncomfortable. But, um, yeah, it's been a lot of pain. Like I said, I had the uh, gas pains and... All of that, but um, I still having contractions. My stomach has ballooned. It feels like a big, huge water balloon. It's huge. It feels like it's sw like it's swelling up or something. It's just really big. The baby moves to like crazy. She has not slowed down her movements, and like sometimes her movements can make my stomach get tighter. Like it, it'll start contractions. Oh my, my foot just fell asleep. It'll start contractions a little bit and. And then I started getting pain, so I've been having that problem. Still swelling. My feet are still swelling up. Legs still swelling up. Still can't sleep. Oh, well, last night was terrible. I didn't even know what to do. Like, what? Uh, it's like, why should I even go to sleep now? I was so uncomfortable last night. Um, I had a doctor's appointment today. Hi, Mama. Hi. I had a doctor's appointment today, and, um... I was, um, she got the results of the, the strep B test, and it was negative, so I don't have to get any, um, antibiotics or anything during delivery. Now, what about that group B thing was very confusing to me, because I did not have it with Adri, and then, like, early in the pregnancy, they told me I had a bladder infection, which was caused by the, the group strep B, um, bacteria, and then now I don't have it, and so they're like, oh, yeah, sometimes you do, sometimes you don't. Hi, Maybe the antibiotics clear it up, but I didn't have it before with Adri, so I'm just confused about that. But thank goodness I don't have to worry about getting Hi, antibiotics Ma. because I am allergic to penicillin and all that, been all confused with all that, too. Oh, Mama. Um, so I went to the doctor last week, so this is all within a week. I have gained two pounds. I was, I was 153 last week. This week I was almost just at, at 155, so I gained two pounds this week, which is uh, shocking because um, no, that probably explains how big my belly is getting. But I thought that the weight slowed down. I'm not sure, but yeah. So I thought I was supposed to gain like a pound a week, but I gained almost two pounds. 
um, another different thing she told me, I, she checked me, and she told me I was, um, still dilating. Last week I was, like, one to two, so it was, um, it was almost two. This week I'm two to three, almost three, and she said that, um, I was 75% effaced. Last week it was 50%. And so she was just like, this was not my doctor this time. It was the um, PA, her um, assistant. And she was like, it seems like my body is really progressing because that was only a week. And um, usually people stay at a certain, a certain diet, uh, they stay dilated a certain centimeter for like weeks. And so, so I'm progressing and the baby's head, she could feel the baby's head. So the baby's head has come down. And she even told me that, um, that I could uh, probably have her this weekend. She said that it, it could it could happen. Like if I was to walk and do all the other stuff that you know everybody tries to do to start labor. And um, she said so I might not make it to the next appointment. Well, I don't know. So you know they always say that it's just an estimate, but um, and everybody's different. But uh, I know I had Adri early and my body is like shutting down seriously and I remember when I was uh the week I had Adri before then I was like cleaning like crazy nesting like crazy and that's Mama, what I was doing this time and then all of a sudden one week I just stopped I and I was just door. so tired and I just wanted to rest and I didn't want to do anything and then Mama. until the day I wanted to labor with her then I started cleaning up again Mama, and that's how I've been feeling so, um, before I had her, I, I, I had kind of mellowed out, so that's what I'm feeling now, so, I don't know, could happen, uh, I know I feel like right now, I just want to clean up, because, only because she said that it, it looks like I'm progressing good, um, so, I don't know, uh, I had, like, continuous, I had continuous contractions on the way home, and, um, they were, like, regular, but they weren't really painful. Some, like I said, sometimes it's painful, sometimes it's just tightness. And then, now I don't feel any pain, so we'll see. I'm going to do some walking, cleaning, and all that stuff to see what I can start up. But I still want to wait till she's full term to even do that, and that's tomorrow, 37 weeks. So, we'll see, and that's just about it. So, I'm going to get to this one, so I will see you later. Bye.